Hey kids, I'm about to go into a photo shoot that my friend Maya is doing for her magazine that's coming out. I'm gonna have an interview with her in this video as well, so um, keep watching for that. Follow her, make sure you follow her social media. And Oh yeah, this is my brand. I just made it, uh, Forbidden Playgrounds. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy watching this and stay tuned for Maya's magazine. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
My name is Maya. So right now, so far, I've just been doing film photography, right? Now I'm branching into a, my own magazine called um, Teddy. Yeah. T-E-D-D-I. Okay. The, the inspiration is just like all the different people in Florida that I, at first, never knew about. So, so far, it's just going to be a collective um, underground Floridians, you know, creatives. It falls under the category of a zine, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. In the zine, uh, so far, I've taken pictures of um, people in bands, skaters, I have people with clothing brands and people with stores, just a bunch of random, you know, people who are into media, basically, so far. Well, what is your goal in the next year or two with the magazine? But I want it to go viral, so I just want everybody to have physical copies, and I just want it to be big enough for me to live off at least you are you taking these photos yourself for the magazine i want to say 85 maybe 89 percent of the photos are just mine and everybody else who who um, has their shots in it they, they'll be tagged but so far it's so far it's going to be like two to three people and their own with their own shots in there but yeah 89 percent of it is just me do you want to stay like as a local magazine or do you plan to get no. bigger? I wanted to, my, my magazine inspiration is, is ID Bizarre. I'm blanking on the other one, but there's another one I'm sure you guys know. I want to go, you know, as big as it can go. Okay. Japan. Like I wanted, to, I wanted to go to different countries, really. Is your magazine, what is the target audience? Would you say it's more like um, teens, young adults? Pushing for young adults and teens well honestly any i feel like anyone can enjoy this magazine especially if you're into what we're all into this media will you be able to view the magazine online or is it only physical copies no it, it it'll be online but i'm pushing for physical copies like i want people to have physical copies but it, it'll be online also do you plan to have like a subscription program for the magazine or i want to it? yeah i want to um it just depends on how consistent I am with keeping up with issues. Say the magazine gains a lot of traction. Do you plan to fly out different places, maybe capture different audiences? Yeah, that's that's cities? that's literally what I, what I wanted to do um, in the beginning. But so far, I've just been in, in Florida uh, for right now. But this first issue would just, you know, um, just focus on Floridians and the people in Florida, the creative people of Florida, but that's not going to be the whole thing. So I do plan on going out. Are you planning on putting advertisements in your magazine in the yeah. future? Yeah. And is that how you plan to finance the magazine? Once again, it depends on how big it goes. Like if it's if it's viral, I'll, I'll start charging people. But for right now, it's you know I just have people in there that I, you know brands that I like and that I think are cool so far. So for people that aspire to do the same thing as you, is there any wisdom you can share with them about it? Oh, wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I knew wisdom. For me, it was just spend it. Like, you know what I mean? Not like spend your whole check, but like if it's something you love and you want it to, you know, thrive, just, just spend your money and at the invest end, in right, invest, invest, and at the end it should, it should go good for you. And um. I'm working on cool packaging too, so look out for that. I want it to be like a nice cool, not just the magazine, but the packaging to be very yeah. cool looking too, so. Okay. Yeah. Are you planning to send these out like anytime soon, like a delivery program anytime soon or no? Um, I focusing on the local people, like focusing on getting it to the locals first? Right now I'm focusing on like putting it in local stores, like honestly I'm gonna ask HYS, see if I can put it in there, you know. Yeah. Certain stores, I was, I was like, oh shit, let me see if I can put it in there. But I do have like a with the program that I'm doing, with the website that I'm doing, it should have like a delivery service also. So shout out your social media, Ooh, Instagram, <laughs> everyone, Instagram, M I Y H 
H <laughs> A A. So it's Maya M I Y H H A A at Instagram. Two and then two yeah two A's two H's two A's. Okay. Uh, and then my email will be on that Instagram also. Great. Okay. Okay. Fit check. Fit check. Got Not the. Me. I got the Pokemon, I got the Pikachu with the with the snapback. I got it from the fair, South Florida Fair, shout out. Oh nice. Uh long sleeve, striped long sleeve, got it from a thrift store. Can't remember, but it's the South Florida thrift store. So there's only a few. Got these from a thrift store, World Thrift. Uh got the Nikes on, the yellow. The nice yes. colorful ones. I got this bag from the thrift store. Pretty cool design, and then I got Ash and Pikachu on the side, you know, to match the match the shirt. Nice. Yeah. All right.